Welcome to the Stealth Watch tutorial series. My name is John Heinz, and I'm a Cloud Security Architect at Cisco Systems. In this module, we are going to review how Stealth Watch Cloud brings both visibility and high fidelity threat detection in the AWS public cloud. Stealth Watch Cloud is a SaaS version of Stealth Watch that is hosted in the cloud. It collects native cloud telemetry, such as VPC flow logs and NSG flow logs, and other services like AWS CloudTrail to provide better visibility and security detections than the native cloud services. A single instance of StealthWatch Cloud can integrate with AWS, GCP, Azure, and on-premises networks, making it a great tool for full network visibility. Like StealthWatch Enterprise, it uses threat intelligence services like Cisco Talos and Cognitive Threat Analytics as well as behavior-based analytics to detect changes on resources that indicate a threat or potential compromise. In this module, we're going to watch a threat play out in AWS and see how StealthWatch Cloud is able to detect the events. We will cover some basic capabilities of the service and how it adds value for the public cloud environments. In addition to VPC flow logs, which provide the network telemetry, we will also see how StealthWatch Cloud uses AWS CloudTrail to detect unusual user and API behavior. If you are watching this as part of the StealthWatch test drive, you will follow the directions in the lab guide to access the demo environment. When StealthWatch Cloud first connects to the AWS account, it retrieves data about the users, endpoints, and network configurations. As part of the learning process, StealthWatch Cloud will attempt to understand the role of each endpoint. We can see the active roles for this account here under models, then roles. Selecting the web server role will show the endpoints associated with that role type. We will see context about the endpoint and clicking the arrow, then device, will provide some information about the bandwidth and type of traffic detected for this device. Notice how the AWS tag is also associated with this device. We can see here that the name is called Web Server 2. We can use this tag to see more information about where it's located at inside the AWS network. For this, we're going to go to Dashboard, AWS Visualizations. This will show all pieces of the network for this account, but to just see that individual instance, we'll select its name from the tag filter list. Name, web server one, hit the plus sign, and it will now narrow down to just that instance. So we can see it's deployed in US East 2. This is the VPC name, Cisco test drive, and then the instance ID, or the subnet, and then the actual instance. StealthWatch Cloud has similar visualizations for security groups, IAM, Inspector, and CloudTrail. As StealthWatch watches and learns about the environment, it is continually monitoring for both bad behavior and behavior deviations. Let's look at the alerts for this portal starting at the bottom. For this, we'll go to Alerts. Notice Alert 433. Via the CloudTrail feed, we have an alert for login failures for user Patron. We can see when they try to log in and if the console login was successful or a failure. Because of the multiple attempts, this alert triggered. Alert 430 tells us about a geographically unusual API usage. Here we see that same user logging into the console with success but from an unusual country, a source IP that is from Japan. This particular behavior is not typical for my account, and this is why this alert triggered. Next, we can see that another alert was triggered, alert 431 for permissive AWS security group. Expanding the details of the request shows us what this user created. In this case, it was a 
very permissive security group allowing all networks and all IP ranges. If I want to see more details about what else this user has been doing, I can click the arrow next to the user, select activity, and then the observations. This will be the other things this user has done that we have seen via the CloudTrail feed. Going back to alerts again, the next one on the list is for new remote access. This would trigger when a machine that hasn't been accessed from outside the network is suspected of being logged into. As you've noticed, each alert will have the observations or evidence of what was detected that triggered the event. In the StealthWatch test drive, there is much more on how to use StealthWatch Cloud and examples of the types of threats it can detect. The test drive can be done on your own using Cisco dCloud or using the links on this page to see when a test drive will be available in your area. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, if you would like to watch more like it, please subscribe to the StealthWatch channel.